Dread in New York. Hello. Today I am looking at the Elect Wave model EWED300-CAM. This is a 1440p car dash camera. You can record from 2560 by 1440 all the way down to 1920 by 1080. This particular unit comes with an impressive array of features. It has a 170 degree wide viewing angle. It has motion detection which will activate whenever something comes into its field of view. It has a GPS module you can attach in order to keep up with your location. On the rear of it there is a 3 inch LCD screen. For those that like HDR, it does support HDR and will record in HDR. It has a built-in G sensor. With the G sensor, whenever it is movement, it will record. And it also goes with if the car is hit. If it feels a bump, say from the rear or from the front or from the side, it will start recording. This unit has something called parking monitoring. So once your car is off and it senses that there isn't any kind of current coming through the unit and it knows it's cut off, if you have it in the mode for parking monitoring, when there's movement, it will record. So if someone's coming, mess with your car, someone taps your car or something, you'll be able to see that as long as it's in the field of view. The manufacturer is kind enough to ship this unit with a 32 gig card. It will accept up to a 512 micro SD, but it will ship with that 32 that you can use to sort yourself off. What is pretty convenient though is it does loop recording. So what happens is once it gets to the end of the card, it automatically goes back and erases the oldest recordings first so you never really have to change the card out or get a bigger card if you don't mind a loop recording if something happens and you feel you need to save it if there's an accident or you or you witness something you actually can save each individual recording and not have to save the entire card of recording and the loop function will re will uh, continue but you just won't record over what you have in addition this unit also has lane departure warning and also forward collision warning both of which I have not tried nor used I don't have a use for it personally I like driving a lot and I, I keep my eyes on the road although I can see the use because there are people that get tired or, or they drive distracted and I, I definitely can see the usefulness however for me I haven't even tested that out one thing I will say is that this unit is very sturdy so I was expecting a plastic unit, however this is a metal unit and the front optics is glass, it's not plastic. So you have a nice glass optic in the front and the body of the camera is metal instead of a, a cheap light plastic is what I was actually expecting. I found this unit easy to use. I did refer to the manual to find out what some of the features are because I wasn't familiar with them, however it wasn't difficult at all. In using this unit, the features that I've used most is the recording and GPS. I usually pretty much just put it on my dash, set it, and forget it. The unit does all the work itself. It will start recording when I start moving. It'll stop recording when I stop moving, which is perfect. If I want to review it, I can look at whatever I want on the screen. But also, what's pretty handy and pretty cool is it also has an HDMI out. So you can put this unit directly onto a television and you can share your footage or look in more detail for what you're looking for which you might not be able to see on a three inch screen. It also has audible alerts and sound recording as well. The unit comes with a good amount of accessories to help you use it. You most certainly will be able to plug it in. It comes with a super long USB that goes into one end of the unit and the other end of the unit will plug in to the cigarette lighter adapter that was provided and what's really 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 handy about the cigarette adapter that the company provides is it has two inputs not just one so if you want to plug in another unit or uh, you know anything else that may use that port say charge a phone or anything like that they were gracious enough to give you two ports so one port can be used for the actual uh, dash cam and the other port could charge a phone and I thought that was pretty handy and pretty cool I have found that the video that this unit produces is clear enough for me to use and to make out objects around me. If I in fact or indeed have an accident, it definitely would be able to stand up in court. One useful feature is that 
If you go into your units folder once connected to a computer, you will see this software available called Car DV Player. What makes this software really useful is not just the fact that you can play it back video, but also you can see your GPS location and data right on screen. In addition, you can see how fast you are going and also the direction. Again, this might be something useful in court. What I did find is that when I was going slower, the GPS kept up, but when I was going faster speeds, sometimes at highway speeds, the GPS would lag and sometimes not pick up my direction or my location at all. All in all, this is a unit that I would definitely recommend and I enjoy using it. In fact, I'm going to end up using this daily in my commute. You never know when something might happen. If you're looking for a dash cam, please take a look at this one. You won't be disappointed. Level noises.